Hey guys, I know for some of you it has probably been a bit since you've heard from me. In fact, I haven't gotten to address you guys like this on YouTube in quite a while, so here I am in the flesh or on your screen, I guess, something like that. I haven't uploaded a full video in over a month now, and I wanted to come on here to explain why that is, what I've got going on, and what you can all look forward to coming up here in the future. Fun fact, I had actually like jotted down all the notes for this video back before like Thanksgiving, but um, it's now... December 5th, 2024 at 2.33 in the morning when I'm recording this. So obviously it didn't go to plan uh, originally for how I was gonna record this and upload it and, and have it out before it even hit Thanksgiving. So here we are finally, at least uh, a little bit late. First and foremost, I started a new job recently. So I've simply been busy more than anything else. If you weren't already aware, over the last like three and a half years, I've been trying to pursue content full time. And while I am extremely grateful for everything that we've built so far, the community that we have and just the overall quality of people that we've been able to bring in over the years, I'm obviously not in a position at this size of creator to continue making it like financially sustainable in any way without like burning through all of my savings even more than I already have over these last couple of years. So it was time for something to change. I had to start making ends meet and that uh, started happening over the last about month or so. In all honesty, I knew going into this year that it was very likely going to be the last year I was going to be able to do this full time anyways, simply because again, we're not at anywhere near where we'd have to be for it to be like my actual full-time like sustainable thing. So I knew going into it, it was gonna be one of those sort of like transition years where I obviously am not like, uh, don't take this as like a retirement thing. Let me make that very clear. <laughs> I'm still very obviously doing YouTubing and streaming and all these sorts of things. Um, I just had to get something to be able to pay the bills. Like most creators out there do, like 99% of creators that aren't making some buku living doing this. You gotta have something on the side to make ends meet while you're pursuing your dreams. So that's where we're at right now. You know, it's actually kind of funny. About two months ago, I uh, went up to Seattle for the Halo World Championships. I've gone up there for it for the last couple of years, and it's always my favorite thing to do every year. It's like the big sort of trip that I take, even though it's not like I'm not flying across the country or anything. It's just, you know, a drive up to Seattle. But for me, I really enjoy it. It's my favorite thing, like I said, every year, and this year was no exception. It was probably like the best weekend of my life this year. It was incredible. But I knew going into it that it was sort of the last hurrah and send off for what this last sort of couple of years has been for me, where I was able to pursue things and I had this free time and flexibility. And so, uh, yeah, it had to be sort of a send off of transitioning into a more normal workforce thing again for at least the foreseeable future. As far as this new job goes, it isn't anything crazy. And it typically only has me working like three long shifts a week, which provides me with the rest of the days to ideally <laughs> continue streaming and editing and making videos for you guys over here. However, at the end of the day, those hours and days that I am now at work used to be the hours and days that I would commit fully to trying to get videos done, get time in for editing and making shorts and all those sorts of things. And now all that time is, you know, kind of being put towards the job. So it's been a pretty big reason, probably the big reason why there hasn't been a full video out on the YouTube channel since, what was it, October 20th, 21st, something like that with the last tier list. It's just been a while. It's been busy and I'm trying to balance it all as best I can. And I really do appreciate you guys being patient with me while I try to figure this all out. The other main reason that there hasn't been like a full on video out on the main channel in quite a while is simply because all the projects I'm working on right now are all pretty large, like substantial projects. If you're curious, I have three videos that I am dead set on getting out before the end of the year, all of which require roughly 15 to 30 hours of editing. In addition to this, I have a few other smaller videos that I'm working on as well, which I'll talk about more in just a little bit here. The recent holiday work schedule that they had me on, along with some pretty heavy stuff that we've been trying to figure out here in the family, has just been stretching me really thin and has made it 
pretty tough to figure out like where to divide my attention and energy and not feel guilty about what's being left on the back burner and what's in the forefront. And it's, it's just all been kind of a lot to figure out for myself. There are only so many hours in the day and I am only one person. So again, I just appreciate you guys showing me your patience and sticking around despite really the lack of things going up other than like a couple of YouTube shorts. Speaking of videos, I wanted to thank you all for the support on the videos over really like the last six months. The tier lists have always been a bit of a hit on this channel and the last few have not been any exception. You guys have clearly liked the tier list, whether it's the Elite Four one or the trainer themes, or obviously the legendary themes tier list earlier this year was a, a, a massive hit. It's probably my, I think it's the most viewed video on my channel. So I'm glad that you guys have gotten a kick out of those. I enjoy making them and I'm glad that you guys have continued to support them and subscribe throughout all of it. It's been it's been cool getting to meet new people in the comments, have conversations, hear your guys' opinions on these songs. And I don't know, it's been cool. I really appreciated uh, having everybody come in and support those. And I guess since I haven't even really gotten to address this in a video yet, thank you for getting this channel to a thousand subscribers. Yeah, a big, uh, there's probably gonna be like, uh, yay sound or something. <laughs> Hitting that milestone is arguably the biggest biggest, most like important milestone for really any YouTuber to hit as far as like raw analytics and like numbers go. So I really appreciate you guys all deciding to stick around here. I've been uploading on this YouTube channel for like, <laughs> it's been like seven and a half years, I think now. It's been a long time. And despite all the ups and downs and different videos and styles that I've gone through over the years, it's been really cool to actually finally hit this milestone after so long. And so I'm just incredibly grateful and humbled to have you guys supporting me. And I hope that that's being shown through what I'm putting out there for you guys. It's funny, I actually got to experience hitting that milestone on stream back when it happened. And it was this really cool moment where the chatters, I was in the middle of, I think I was playing Final Fantasy 14 and we were playing like the newest like Dawn Trail expansion. And there's like all this crazy stuff happening in the story, all this stuff going on. And meanwhile, like <laughs> the, the chat is like dead focused on the subscriber count. Cause we're like, we, I think we started that stream at like 980 something or whatever, hour by hour, like a couple more people would subscribe. And we were just inching closer and closer towards that. And so it was this really like sort of surreal feeling when we finally hit the 1000 milestone on stream and, and we got to have our own sort of like a little mini celebration that night. It was it was a really special experience for me. So again, I, I really thank you guys for that. It was awesome. Speaking of the tier lists, uh, for those that are mostly interested in the tier lists or content that's sort of in a similar vein to that, the next tier list is actually being decided by my YouTube members this time around. YouTube has given me an incentive to upload like a few members only videos and community posts over the next couple of weeks. And one of those posts is a poll for you to vote on which tier list you'd like to see next. I even added a new like additional lowest membership tier on my channel. It's only $2 a month. So these posts and videos can hopefully be much more like affordable and accessible for those that maybe have a bit of a stricter budget or maybe are saving up money for the holidays or whatever it is. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to access these couple of members only things that I'm putting out here. To be clear, the tier list itself is not going to be a members only tier list. <laughs> it's just the vote that is in the community post that is members only. It's just the members that are going to be voting on which one I'm gonna do next. The actual full video will be just available to everybody on the YouTube channel. It's just going to take a while to make that one. So just like <laughs> be patient with me, please. <laughs> So either way, if you'd like to influence which tier list we do next for all these different Pokemon themes that are out there, feel free to become a member at just the lowest tier, the $2 tier. That should work just fine. You should be able to vote just fine and everything. Or if you just want to support the channel for support purposes, any of the membership tiers are welcomed and I appreciate those greatly. I mean, I'm, I'm immensely appreciative of anyone that supports financially through the YouTube side of things. So I, whatever works for you, I'm okay with. You don't have to support financially. I'm just saying that those options are out there. Uh, so enjoy them if you'd like. Just wanted to put the option out there to help give you guys a voice and what comes next. In regards to my Radical Red Dutzlock series, I know that there is like a decent chunk of people that have been following along with those over the last, I mean, pretty much this whole year, honestly. And if you have been following along with it, you might have noticed that the runs have been getting extremely close to hitting our Elite Four checkpoint. This means that each video has required more and more and more footage to sift through, which has caused quite a large delay between videos in that series. 
To avoid spoiling too much, all I will say is that you'll see that series concluded on this channel by the end of the year. So I'd highly recommend catching up on some of the like more recent videos at least before the next one's release. It's a series I am super proud of and I would love it if you guys gave it a chance if you haven't decided to already. I also wanna take a moment to just remind you guys that just a couple months ago, I did actually start up a VODs channel for my streams. I've been specifically uploading VODs over there that I thought were just like a lot of fun that I didn't plan on doing anything with for like full-fledged videos on the main channel. There are also VODs that are going to be uploaded there eventually that are gonna be like slightly more condensed VOD experiences, mainly with like ad breaks and like other tangents or distractions being cut down. So that way it's like a more like fluid viewing experience, but not quite with all the bells and whistles of like a full video over here on like the main channel, if that makes sense. Those sort of like condensed VODs as I've sort of like internally been calling it for myself are eventually gonna be done for series like Final Fantasy XIV and the Phoenix Wright series that I did with my friend Maria. That was a lot of fun and I wanna make sure that those are gonna be a more fluid experience for you guys to be able to enjoy rather than like having crazy, you know, distractions and all the dailies I do or whatever. Uh, a little bit more of a, a fluid experience. I also have a few pieces of like kind of exclusive content that I do plan on putting out there eventually. I just don't have exactly like a time frame for when I'm gonna have the time to get that on there. But if you would like to subscribe over there to be ready for it, feel free because it's gonna be there eventually. <laughs> I promise it'll be there eventually. <laughs> Before wrapping up, I'd like to give you guys at least a little heads up about some of the plans with this channel going forward. As always, I've got lots of big Pokemon projects that are down the pipeline still, but I'm also gonna try mixing in some other smaller projects again when I can. I've had some awesome experiences in other games that I think would be fun to put up here for you guys, and it would help kind of bridge the gap between like big Pokemon video and having some other stuff in the middle and, and the next big Pokemon video or whatever. So look forward to a little more variety, hopefully in the new year. This channel was originally built on variety. I mean, I would upload gameplays of all sorts of things. I did like a Madden video and I did Halo Wars 2 and Pokemon and Monkey Ball and all sorts of different things. And I always wanted to keep that sort of spirit with this channel being a sort of showcase for all the different things that I do, whether it's things I play on stream, things I want to record offline, whatever it is, I've always wanted this channel to sort of hold on to that identity. It's just been a little bit harder over the last like year or two because Again, a lot of the projects I've been working on are just these sort of bigger Pokemon ones, and I've only had so much time for the editing. So I know it's been a lot of Pokemon. I do want to have more variety of stuff up here soon. So if you're mostly here for Pokemon, don't worry. Plenty of that coming down the pipeline. If you're excited for other stuff as well, I'm going to try to sprinkle it in here as much as I can, uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy it and give it a chance and uh, have some fun with it. Okay, I think I've yapped enough at this point. So to actually wrap things up, I just wanted to give one more big thank you from me to you. The world of YouTubing and streaming is so incredibly cutthroat and it's really difficult to maneuver, but you all have made this journey so much fun so far. And I can't wait to see where we are able to take this thing going forward. Please make sure to take care of yourselves. And if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them in the comments or even join the Discord and chat with us in there. The link is in the description as it always is on every video. That's the best place to like keep up with me and the rest of the community and anything we got going on and all the updates and stuff. So would really highly recommend hanging out in there. We got a lot of cool people in there. So we're always happy to welcome new people and that's easily the best place to be to keep up with like all the things we've got going on, whether it's stream schedules or any events I've got going on or delays or anything like that. That's the best place to hang out. We've got a lot of cool people in there and we're always happy to welcome new ones in there to be a part of our, our little community. So would highly recommend it. No pressure, but it's there if you'd like it. Speaking of the stream schedule, it's a little all over the place right now. I won't lie to you. My work schedule is a bit all over the place. And until that gets a little bit more consistent, the stream schedule is going to kind of just be whatever days I'm not at work are the days I'm going to try to stream as much as I can. However, one thing that I have been trying to stick to pretty regularly, at least over the last couple of weeks here, is on Saturdays and Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific time, we've been doing a Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Soul Link with my friend Bisu, who you might have seen in a couple of previous things that we've done together on stream and even a video, a short video I did for the main channel itself. We're a couple of attempts into that Soul Link and it's been a wild ride so far, especially if you're, look, if you're familiar <laughs> with Ultra Sun and Moon, 
you know that those games are incredibly hard to Nuzlocke. So doing a Soul Link with very strict level caps and limited encounters and all of the hand-holding, cutscene-y, rambling nonsense that you have to deal with with the Sun and Moon games, it's been a hell of an experience so far. So would highly recommend coming in, hanging out for those if you'd like. Again, Saturdays and Mondays, unless my work forces me to work on any of those days. And then I obviously have to reschedule and we figure it out. But it's a good time. Would recommend. <laughs> Feel free to come hang out if you've been craving more Pokemon stuff from me. But with all that being said, that's all I've got for you guys for now. Thank you again for watching, especially if you made it this far in the video. I really do appreciate you guys hanging out for these. I know that this is probably not the video you were expecting to see. <laughs> I'm sure you're expecting some grand Pokemon or something video to come out, but I wanted to keep you guys posted on what's going on. And I hope that this video succeeded in doing that without rambling on for hopefully too long. Again, take care of yourselves. And if I don't talk to you before the holidays, have a great holiday. And I will see you guys all again here very soon. Later.